So, welcome to Storytime. Today we are doing a Doug the Bug that went moing. And this is by Sue Hendra. Now, you may remember Sue Hendra's name. She is the author of Norman, the slug with the silly shell. Uh, you may also have read Barry the Fish with Fingers. We haven't done those in class. But not on this little sticker there, but also that we have done is, of course, Sue Potato. Now, sometimes Sue, sometimes she is the author of the book. Now, can you tell your adult what being an author means? Maybe. I hope you can. So sometimes she's the author, which means she writes the story. So sometimes she writes the story and somebody else illustrates the story. Um, and that was the case with Sue Potato and with Norman. Um, and sometimes she does the illustrations as well. And in Doug, she is the author and the illustrator. So, Doug the Bug That Went Boing by Sue Hendra. And if we flip to the back quickly, so remember on the back you will often find the blurb. And the blurb tells you a little bit about a book. So if you're in a bookshop or in a library and you're not sure about whether you want to take that book and you think mm, might be good might not you look at the front cover first and then you turn to the blurb and that will tell you a little bit about it so it says meet doug he's the purple one <clears throat> doug is about to have the biggest adventure of his life but as he swings and spins bounces and boings the only thing he really wants to know is will he ever see his best friend trevor again <gasps> Oh, so I'm thinking that Trevor is this pink one here. So let's find out. Oh, and also, no bot. We shared no bot in class as well. The robot who loses his bottom. That one was pretty funny. Okay then, so let's start off. We've got these lovely little pictures of all these different mini bees. Very sweet, these little line drawings. Okay. Doug and Trevor had been best friends for a long time. They played together every day and didn't like to be apart. Here's Doug and here's Trevor. One day they were playing berry ball when... Oh, look, here we go. Let's have a look at the picture like this. So here's the berry. So the berry is obviously being the ball and they're having a good old time playing with it. And then we can see a worm over here and a fun little bug over here of some kind and a snail over there. So one day they were playing berry ball when, oh dear, bad luck Trevor, said Doug. It's your turn to get it down. Oh, it's got stuck up here in this flower. Is not, said Trevor. Is too, said Doug. Is not, said Trevor. Oh dear, look, mm -mm, grumpy. You always make me climb up there, said Doug crossly. You always say it's my turn when it's not. I don't want to play any more. Fine, said Trevor, and he turned and walked away in a huff. But just then, a great big shovel came down and scooped Doug up. Oh no, what on earth was happening? Doug, cried Trevor. Cried Doug. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on? Hmm, I bet you can explain it. Oh, and look, there's a little creepy crawly over there just behind the plant pot. When he finally opened his eyes, Doug got quite a surprise. Oh, my goodness gracious me, look at that. Trevor, he yelled. Help! But Trevor was too far away to hear him. Oh my goodness goodness look at that that's the front door of the house and this is a high up window and all the way down here is the garden i've got to get home thought doug but how oh dear have you got any ideas how he could get home hmm it's a tricky one then he heard a funny noise bzz, bzz, bump. It was a very dizzy fly. Look at his eyes, he's all dizzy. He was banging his head against the window. Bzz, bzz, bump. Um, maybe you should try the door, said Doug politely. There he is, being a little helpful fellow. The door, great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I've been here for days. Oh, how can I ever thank you, said the fly. Doug tried not to laugh. Well, he said, maybe you could take me with you. I'll try, said the fly. You look quite heavy, but here goes. Bzz, bzz. Whoa, don't drop.
got me in there, cried Doug. Oh, no, not there. Bzz, bzz, way, or on there. Crikey, what's that? That's a cactus. They're very prickly. And definitely don't drop me there. Oh, my goodness. What is that? And what would happen if the fly dropped Doug? In the spider's web. <coughs> Phew, that was close. But the fly was starting to wobble. <sighs> don't think I can hold on. And then... Plop! Doug landed splat in somebody's breakfast. Oh dear. He was just wondering if things could get any worse when they did. Pepper sprinkled onto his nose and ha 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 Doug shot through the air and span round and round and round on the ceiling fan. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Then boing he bounced off of a sponge cake. Boing and popped up a pedal bin. Boing. Oh my goodness, he's going whoosh, 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 whoosh. Boing, 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 boing. Super boing, which sent him spinning through the air. Oh my goodness, where is he going? <gasps> Towards the toaster. Boing. Straight through the toast. He smashed through the toast and began to fall. He grabbed the first thing he could and swung. Ah, look at his little face. All the way back. Oh, to exactly where he had started. Oh my goodness, he's black at, back at the plant pot. Doug had to admit things weren't going very well. Will I ever see Trevor again, he said sadly. Then he heard a familiar sound. What do you think he heard? Bzz, bzz. Bzz, bzz. Bye. It called. It was the fly buzzing out of sight. And that was when Doug noticed that the window was open. Hey, wait for me, he called. How was he going to get out now? Then Doug had an idea. Dun, dun, dun. Whee! Home I go, cried Doug. The friends were so happy to see each other again. I'm sorry I wouldn't get the ball, said Trevor. I'm sorry I got so cross, said Doug. Tell you what, said Trevor. How about a game of berry ball right now? You're on, said Doug. And all was well until... Oh, no. It happened again. There they are playing happily. And then it stuck again. Doug looked at Trevor. Trevor looked at Doug. I'll get it, said Trevor. Let me, said Doug. No, no, no. It's definitely my turn, said Trevor. And they were so busy arguing, they didn't hear a familiar sound. Bzz, bzz, catch, said the fly. And they all played happily till the sun went down. Ah, all the friends together. The end. Bye, Doug. Bye, Trevor. Bye, little fly. Bye.